Hi students, in this video I am going to give you the solution to the test yourself questions which I asked for uh, box problems from chemical kinetics chapter. This is a question first I have given you. Uh, rate is equal to for example K into concentration of A to the power of 2, B to the power of 1 or A not B not initial concentrations they have given. Simply what I told you without writing anything just A value increased by 1.5. A place put 1.5. 1.5 square and B place what I told you tripled. You keep 3 and its order which is given in the question is 1. So 1.5 into 1.5. Uh, how to do 1.5 into 1.5? I will use this multiplication trick which I already uploaded in our channel. Go through it if you want. I am getting 2, 2, 5, 2, I removed the decimals and I calculated. Multiplication trick I already uploaded. Huh? If you don't know, you just go through it. Answer is 6.75. Here I did not teach you this, this trick. I, I taught you how you have to substitute. And uh, another three questions I have given you. This is the question. You just do it on textbook only with a pencil if you want. Uh, you can do my, I am not having pencil here. I am doing with, the, with this pen only. Uh, 0 0.30, 0, 0 0.30. These two are constants, right? Or 0 0.60, 0 0.60. Any two constants you take. When you are taking any two constants, you are not finding order with respect to that. You are not finding now order with respect to this. You are finding with respect to O2. If you take these two, 0 0.31, sir. 2 sir you got 2 and to the power of nothing is there means 1 is there this is the uh, you know uh, or b b this is a b okay order with rest 2 and power b which is equal to rate you take 0 0.768 and 0 0.384 can i take for two times 1 sir and 2 sir so i'll be getting how much 2 and nothing is there means 1 is there so, it will be order with respect to B is 1. So, we got B value 1 which means that order with respect to O2 is 1 we got. Okay, done. And now you want to find N order. How to find N order? O2 value you have to take constant. Suppose you take any two values. Uh, 0 0.6, uh, 0 0.6 these two values are constant. Or you can take uh, 0 0.3, 0 0.3 these two values. Any two values. For example, take these two values. If you are taking these two values, 1s are 2 sir. So, 2 N value you got 2. Then 2 to the power of what will be its order? Uh, a which is equal to these two 0 0.38 divided by 0 0.096 one sir four sir directly i'm doing six one sir six four uh, six four sir 24 so we'll be getting four then it will be uh, higher value by lower value i told no four then it is bases are same so you can equate exponents 2 to the power of a is equal to 2 to the power of 2 then order with re order with respect to the first species i mean no is 2 then it will be Rate is equal to K into NO order is 2 and O2 order is 1. That's it. This is your answer. Clear students everybody? Is that clear? What I have done instead of doing and, and a same methodology. But what is the simple logic here? If you write on this paper and you know separately if you do rough work. It, it takes more time and when you write you know normal methodology. If you write like a rate and all it, it takes time. But if you do on a textbook directly. I mean their exam paper directly. You, you can save. You see the difference. And many students they say right ma'am time. I know many answers but time is not sufficient. These simple uh, tricks will save your time for example see here this question i am taking i told the logic is there here suppose a concentration is given these two are constants so when you are taking these two values are constant you are not finding order with respect to a you are finding order with respect to b b order for example uh, you know uh, see here b order you are finding 0 0.3 by 0 0.1 how much it's it is 3 3 to the power of some b you take because you are uh, finding with respect to second species and e here value is 0. Point, uh, you know a higher value how much 0 0.40 divided by 0 0.5 i mean once a
सी जीरो पॉइंट थ्री जीरो डिवाइडेड बाई जीरो पॉइंट वन दीज टू वैल्यूज वी गॉट थ्री एंड आई एम सींग हियर नो दिस इज द रेट राइट या दीज टू आर कॉन्स्टेंट्स विच मीन्स दैट इफ यू कीप ए कॉन्सेंट्रेशन कॉन्स्टेंट एंड बी इज चेंजिंग ऑल्सो रेट रिमाइंस कॉन्स्टेंट दिस पॉइंट आई ऑलरेडी क्लियर यू इफ इफ रेट इज नॉट चेंजिंग मीन्स विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू दैट ऑर्डर इज जीरो सो हियर बी वैल्यू इज जीरो बिकॉज इट इज नॉट चेंजिंग इवेन दो इवेन दो यू आर चेंजिंग द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन देर इज नो चेंज इन द रेट विच मीन्स इट इज जीरो ऑर्डर रिएक्शन ओके यू गॉट द सेकेंड ऑर्डर आई मीन रेट इज इक्वल टू के इन टू ए एंड बी यू हैव टू फाइंड एंड now suppose see this is a uh, in this question r is equal to k into a into b right uh, re, a, with respect to a order we have taken b with respect to b order is small b then here we already got b value is 0 why b value is 0 because if you change also or a uh, concentration of b there is no change in a rate which means it is zero order reaction and simply you can find it out by seeing the constant value and now the next one is if you take this two uh, which two you can take for example a value is changing b value also changing now i will substitute it just check it out r is equal to k into concentration of a value here first you take screenshot of that both at a time my god I can't show you. Uh, K value is how much? It is zero point two. A value zero point two zero, and then B value I'm substituting, which is given in question is zero point four zero. This is uh, sorry. B value is zero point three zero. Hmm. And this is A, and this is B divided by. See the next question. See the next question. Actually, I already did that, but a space over, so video done, gone. And again, I'm doing. See, uh, in a reaction uh, between A and B, the initial rate of reaction was measured for different different initial concentrations of A and B. So what you do is this for first this question you write in a normal method if you want, like zero point uh, A. This is one second. A concentration, how much it is given? Zero point two. First experiment, next experiment zero point two, next experiment zero point four zero. This is A, and I am writing B. Now I am writing B. How much? Zero point three and zero point one and zero point zero five. And now I am writing rate five into ten power of minus five, five point zero seven. This is also five point zero seven into ten power of minus five. This is one point four three into ten power of minus four. Uh, these are the you you can do in a whatever the given in textbook also you can just convert in this part table also. Now observe here these two values rate some value rate is constant means. the technique here is these two are constants as i told you in a previous video these two are constants if you a anyhow constant if you change the b concentration also from as given in question 0.3 to 0.1 but there is no change in the rate constant which means that order with respect to b is zero directly you can mark that option whichever you are changing but no change in the sense that species order is zero the clear and the next point uh, take any two different uh, uh, values which you take for example take this or this any any two which are varying rate is varying you you take this two for example r rate is equal to k into 0.2 to the power of uh, some a which is equal to 0.3 to the power of b rate value how much 5.07 into 10 to the power of minus 5 and now i will take the next expression 1 point uh, here unnecessarily i drew the line correct 1.43 into 10 power of minus 4 is equal to k into 0.4 into uh, you know a 0.05 to the power of b anyhow order with respect to b is zero which you got you can directly neglect these two terms then what i uh, what i got this and this equation 2 divided by equation 1 you do so 1.43 into 10 power of minus 4 is equal to 0.4 to the power of k k will be cancelled 0.4 to the power of a 
and 5.07 into 10 to the power of minus 5 and this is a full proof method in a mind only you can do here okay one sir two sir directly you can do then one sir two sir which you got 2.8 now here is the main thing which you feel difficulty 5.07 1.43 if it goes up it will be 10 power of 5 10 power of 5 and 10 power of minus 4 is 10 will be left. So, 14.3 divided by 5.07. This upon solving you are getting around 2.8. 2.8 is equal to 2 to the power of A. For, for solving this one only student feel difficulty. 2.8 is equal to 2 to the power of A. Then how to find the order of the reaction? That is a problem. So, what uh, normal method, uh, how to do uh, through normal method is... 2.8 is equal to 2 to the power of a then apply log on both the sides log 2 to the power of a is equal to log 2.8 correct and then it will be log log a to the power of b formula is b log a b log a then b a log 2 is equal to log 2.8 then you can round it off log 2.8 means take log 3 log 2 value is 0 0.3010 log 3 value is 0 0.477 just you know you take the ratio of these two you can do it you can do it you will be getting value around 1.5 this is a general method but even though this method is time consuming right this much process you have to do this much process you have to do so what i suggest is instead of solving this big method i will tell you a small trick what, what is that? Uh, you log 2 to the power of a is equal to 2.8. Without using log, you have to find, right? Uh, in options, they will give you always 1 first order, uh, 1.5 order and third option is second order. Either third order they will give you or none they will give you. Like third order or any other. Obviously, uh, answer falls between 1 to 1.5 either you know in this only three they never give you like 1.2 1.8 or 2.4 like that there is no such orders they don't give you and then this value is you see if it is two means if it is two means order will be one if the value is two for ex suppose if the value is four means then four how can you write two square then a value is two clear students what I want to say, if, if the value is 2, order is 1. If the value is uh, 4, order is 2. But the value is between 2 to 4. The simple trick is when the value is 2 to 4 and you are about to calculate log, no need to use that method. Simply you can mark 1.5 is your order of the reaction. You saw number of questions. Today whatever the, I taught uh, around that class 18 minutes in this class 6 to 7 minutes or 10 minutes. Just this uh, you know 25 minutes class you use and solve different kinds of chemical kinetics questions uh, once you feel very happy of the content please hit on a like and uh, if you like more just a comment it my name is Komali I'm your chemistry mentor thank you so much for watching this video